Hey you guys, it's your girl Talent Love and I'm back again with another video. Today we are doing look number five in the Jaclyn Hill 6 series. Listen, I'm so excited about today's look because I wanted to do a cranberry smoky eye so bad and I mean, I think I slayed sis, listen. Look, it's got like, I don't know, it's just giving me cat eye vibes. Like, it's so freaking cute. I got a little gold in the inner eye, you know what I'm saying? I got some lashes on, and um, today the lashes, I actually show you guys what lashes I'm wearing because I know I just usually pop them on. But today, you know, I went out the other day and got a bunch of new lashes, so I'll be showing you those or whatever every single time I film. So anyway, if you guys want to see how I achieve this beautiful, sexy cat eye round, <laughs> then stay tuned. Okay, so first things first, I'm applying the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Fawn on my eyelids as a base. And then we're just going to use the fluffy brush to blend it out. Next, I'm laying tape down because I want a really, really sharp angled look. First things first, we're gonna dip into the color buns and we're gonna apply that right under the brow bone because I'm gonna create an ombre effect. Next, we're gonna go on top of that with the color Jax. And we're not gonna go directly on top of the buns color. We're just gonna go down just a little bit. And like I said, I'm creating an ombre effect. So, you know, I did want it to go from a brownish to a reddish and then just get darker. And now we're taking Soda Pop and we're putting that all up in the crease, girl. Now I'm going in and I'm cutting the crease with a rounded flat brush and I'm using my MAC paint pot in the color Painterly. And now I'm just taking a clean fluffy brush and I'm just blurring out the edges of painterly um, just like on the side towards the um, crease of the eye. So now we've gone in with the color Crayon Apple and um, I'm using my fluffy brush from Morphe but afterwards I'm going to use my finger just to get the color more potent. One thing I do want to note for you guys is that the creator of this palette, Jaclyn Hill, she actually encourages finger application. So yeah, I did notice that, you know, once the color was in there, like, you know, as far as I was going to get it up in the crease, when I went back in with my finger, it just gave me so much more pigment. pigment. Now I'm going in with the color Abyss and I'm going to put that on the outer corner of my eyelid and I'm trying to deepen the crease just to make it more smoky. And now I'm just going to go in with Chip and I'm going to use Chip to kind of soften out that black 
Um, so I'm just going to go to the top of the black and I'm going to soften that out. And then I'm also going to merge that just a little bit over into the top part right over top of the red. Not in the cut crease, but like right over top of it. Now that the top of the eye is exactly how I want it, I'm going to go ahead and peel off that tape and we're going to draw the wing. Honestly, I thought this small wing was cute, but you guys, if you guys decided to make this wing like hella chunky, it would still be cute, if not even cuter. So yeah, make sure you make your wing size to your desired thickness, cause like I said, I feel like a big wing would look really good with this too. So now I'm just tight lining the inner corner of my upper eye with my Marc Jacobs um, eyeliner in the color black. Now I'm putting on mascara to prep my eyelashes using my Colossal Mascara. So I had a clip showing my um, lashes and everything, but I don't know where it went. So anyway, I'm gonna put the lash titles or whatever in the description box, I'm sorry about that. But right now we're going in with the color Rich and we're gonna be using that for our highlight later, but right now we're using it for our inner corner before we put on our foundation. Now I'm taking the Sasha Buttercup setting powder and I'm going to just put that under my eyes and I'm going to set all of the places on my face that I highlighted. And now I'm just layering mocha over top of, well, chocolate chip over top of mocha. I'm using the Jaclyn Hill palette just to do kind of like a soft contour. Um, because this eye it look is just so deep and kind of dark, I didn't want to do too, too much of a contour. I just kind of wanted to keep the face like soft looking. And now I'm gonna take my fluffy brush and basically it's kind of like a short, thick kabuki brush, but yeah, it's from e.l.f., but I'm just taking that and I'm just brushing off all of the excess makeup and I dipped it, well, I'm dipping it into um, my Black Opal Color Number 600 Velvet Setting Powder because it's the color of my face and it's gonna bring those two colors together, the contour and the highlight. So next I'm just going in with the Ulta Beauty 
um, eyeliner and I'm going to tight line my lower lash line and that's the color black. Now I'm going back in with the color Soda Pop and a flat brush from Morphe and I am just going ahead and smoking out that bottom lash line. We're going to go about three quarters in and we're going to leave that inner corner untouched for a different color. And now I'm taking Jax and I'm doing the inner corner of the bottom lash line and then I'm also using it to go right under that darker color that we already had laid down there just to smoke that out and give it a cool little ombre look. So now I'm just taking the Morphe setting spray and setting my face and then I'm going to take my makeup powder brush and just set that in very nicely. So now I'm going back in with the Highlighter Rich and I am just going ahead and highlight, highlighting those cheeks, girl. And um, I guess because I set my face first, it's just going on so blinding, um, but it's just a little too blinding for me. So I'm going to go in a little bit later with my um, powder brush and I'm just going to just thin it out just a little bit. And now I'm just going to take the mascara and put it on my lower lash line. And last but not least, I went ahead and lined my lips and then I put on my lip gloss in the color Tiramisu by NYX. Alright guys, so if you liked my video, then go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Comment down below. Tell me that, you know, how you liked it. Tell me um, what colors you want me to dip into next in the palette. I kind of have an idea, but I'm not really set on it. So if you guys want to help me or suggest a look that you want to see or a color that you want me to use for the last and final look of this palette then you just go ahead and drop it down in the comments and let me know and I'll do it I am so enjoying this palette you guys I loved it from the first day I set eyes on it I've had it for a little while before I did this six series and I have been meaning to do one on it but you know we back and pop so here we are so yeah you guys, um, if it's your first time coming to this channel and this is your first video watching me, welcome girl, hey boo hey it's about to get lit, okay? <laughs> and if it's your second time coming here, you might as well subscribe, like you know what you guys, 71% of people that watch my videos are not subscribed, you might as well stick around. Click the bell notification, girl. That's like having a cell phone and keeping it on silent. You ain't gonna know when I call you. I have to keep checking and checking and checking, girl. Listen, I'm right here. Turn on the bell notification so you can know, okay? We got some late content coming around the corner. So, yeah. Anyway, you guys, until next time, I love you guys so, so much. Until next time, be fresh and be fierce.